Hi guys, Steve here. On this video, I'm going to show you how to make the Enforcer, which is pretty darn cool. It's a really good mount. Right, you can build the basic one from the city terminals, as it has the engram already built into it. But if you want a better one, go around the city looking for wild enforcers, go up to them and kill them. It'll give you most of the resources you need to build them. But we also drop an engram package. Pick that up. You get different quality ones, different colours. And the better they are, the more resources it takes to build. You only can make one enforcer from one coloured engram you find. So go around killing a few of them. That'll help you get extra resources as well. That's a good one. Pick it up. So to build a purple one, I need 351 crystal, 3518 element dust, 422 metal ingots, 140 oil, and 211 polymer. You don't seem to get any resources from killing these ground drains, so I wouldn't really bother. You would have thought it'd give you something, but they don't. Each time you kill an enforcer, the resources you get back to build a new one are oil, element dust, and scrap metal. You get loads of electronics too, but that's just a bonus that you can use on other stuff. If you want to farm extra scrap metal, element dust, and crystal, you can get it by harvesting the city's lamp posts. You can farm these tall, thin ones. And also these larger, double ones. The only resource you need but don't get by killing enforcers is polymer. You can go to the desert biome and kill mantis if you want, but a much easier way of getting it is by killing corrupted dinos. Try going for the easier groups like trikes and stegos instead of rexes and gigas. When you've killed them you get corrupted nodules and these work exactly the same as organic polymer and you can use them on all of the other engrams that need poly. Just think of them as polymer just under a different name. Once you've got enough corrupted nodules, make your way to the city and try and find a city terminal. These can also be used to transfer out the map. Open them up. And there's a basic enforcer engram, plus the other element things you can build. Just get closer so I can transfer everything over. Now these terminals don't hold much. Like that. So there's not much space, so you need to select what you need to put in them. Right, we're missing metal at the moment, but no problem. We can convert this scrap metal into scrap metal ingots. Let's transfer that back. Right, to turn the scrap metal into usable metal, we're going to need some forgers. So I'm going to place a few of those down now. Just use the basic ones if you want. One, two, three. Let's get some fuel. Bit of metal. Get the first one going. Think of those as just basic metal before you convert it into ingots. three are cooking and from it you get scrap metal ingots instead of a normal metal ingots 
Right, I'll just let them cook for a bit. If you need extra crystal, you can find them in nodes like this. I have times for harvesting on this server, by the way. And if you need extra metal, you can always farm it from normal metal nodes. random nodes scattered all around the map. Let's go back to the forges, see if the scrap metal is done. Put them in the forge. My fly. <laughs> right, how he's getting on. Almost done. That should be long enough. So, that's a blueprint I got from one of them, but also a top is the same blueprint for just a standard primitive enforcer. Doesn't matter which one you make. I don't have the resources to make the good coloured ones yet. Click craft. First time I've ever made one. There it is. It up. Move over here. Consume it. There we go. Alright. Got myself an enforcer. Ooh, we're fast. It's going to sun where it's better light. Alright, that's its normal stats. It's only a low level one. So we have left mouse button to attack, right mouse button to blink, you can hold the mouse button and select where you want to blink, let's go across, can we go across there? I think it needs clear sight. Let's try and find a flat area. There we go, that should do it. Let's see the blink distance. Go. Cool. I've got C. Does that bubble? Right, let's not fight that just yet. Let's try it. Right, run out of stamina quick. It's got element there. I assume that's what powers it. I like a teleport. We can climb. Alright, wicked. Let's hope it, can. it could. Right, let's see if it works the same as a drake. Right, on the drake, right mouse button made you climb and unclimb, but Obviously, right mouse button on this will blink you. 
So it doesn't look like you can manually drop off or activate climb ability. Look at that stamina. Use the stamina to climb. Just wait for my stamina to get back. Not sure if it would be a good idea. Helps a bit low. Not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. Run, little fella, run! He's a bit slow. Let's try and baffle him with a ramp. Oh, that was close. <laughs> yeah, so we're a bit weak. And I wouldn't... I'd just use it as a mount for getting around. Or especially the low ones. I'm just waiting for my stomach to get back. Oh, when you're injured, it takes ages for your stamina. Look at it, top right. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to the forge. Now, that's the easy one. But as you can see, the better ones need a lot more element. Now, I'm going to do a separate video on how to make the element and the best place to farm it. Because there's a load of it out in the wastelands. But for now, I'm going to get the resources to make that purple enforcer. Right, I've got all the materials together, but it turns out there's not enough space in the city terminal to make it. All these corrupted nodes take up too much space. So what you need to do is put everything in a tech replicator. So that complicates things a bit more. Turn it on. Remember these are only one use and it vanishes. Put some quick there. Turn that off. Got any spare dust? Yeah, let's take that. Let's create that. And the colour you get is the one that you actually kill. So it's a higher level. Let's put some dust in to power it. And because this one's a higher level, it's got three jumps in the bottom middle. Right, what I'm going to do now is go to the wastelands and show you how good this is against corrupted dinos. So see you in a minute. So I've leveled this one up a bit. You know the blink ability that you can go straight forward. Well... You can do it on the side of walls as well, which is awesome. Let's go there. Oh. There we go. I like it. Right. My normal attack damage is... 84. Right, let's see what it can do against corrupted. 300, almost 40. 33.9. Right, let's do a blink again. Surprised! So it does massive more damage against corrupted dinos than non corrupted ones. It's a wrecking machine. Oh 
wonder how powerful this is. Right, this might be interesting. I might have bitten off a bit more than I can chew, but in for a penny. Just don't get behind it. That bite's quite hard. Escape! Escape! Emergency! Let's get the hell out of here! <laughs> yeah. Have a good fight. Oh, you got corrupted sandworms coming after me as well. No, thank you. Yeah, that might have been biting off a bit more than I could chew. Well, guys, that's the enforcer and how to make them. Uh, on my next video, I want to show you how to get an awesome amount of elements. Oh, you'll ever need. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe if you've not already, and click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. There's links to other videos at the end, comment on what you would like to see, and there's a link to Patreon if you feel like supporting the channel. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye!